Hey, today I will show you three ways how you can animate your cameras and have uh, full and precise control over its movement. Let's start first by adjusting the timeline. So we go here to time configuration and uh, we'll have it at 30 frames per second, which is the default. Uh, you can change it to uh, 24 or make it uh, smoother like 60 but the render time counts so uh, 30 as a default is a quite good uh, number of uh, renders per second so I'll leave it like this and uh, the result will be quite nice so I have uh, three cameras in my scene and I want to have uh, some uh, six seconds uh, videos of uh, the three of them. So I'll change the end time to uh, 180 uh, frames. So 30 frames per second. Uh, times 6 is 180 after that uh, what I want to change as well is the uh, movement of the camera that will be uh, here it is uh, as a default uh, set uh, to start uh, slow in the beginning then acceler accelerate and uh, reach its maximum speed in the middle of uh, the timeline and uh, once more uh, to slow down uh, towards the end of the animation so I will change it from this default setting to a linear one so the movement of the camera is constant all the way and if I want to adjust uh, to speed up or slow down I can do this in the post-production of the video after that okay after we have set these things let's start first by animating uh, uh, the first way which is the simple one Let's first uh, change the wall so we can see inside what's happening. This is a small interior bedroom with bathroom uh, and the cameras are set for uh, static renders. Now we can animate them. So let's start by with this camera and the easiest way is to press the ALT key and uh, make uh, uh, a key on the first uh, position of the timeline then move the slider to the uh, last uh, frame and let's make a nice uh, 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 movement to the front like this then set key and this is how the camera is animated let's preview the animation so this is a nice slow movement forward Uh, so this is when you are making some uh, linear movement of your camera uh, this is the easiest way to do this from point A to point B uh, the next method is when you want to make some kind of uh, a curved movement or uh, something more interesting let's try it with the next camera So again, we start by 
pressing the set key on the first frame and then we go to the last one and adjust the camera to a new position so it's camera 2 uh, ok let's adjust it a bit we can as well select the target and animate its position as well we can as well animate as you see there is a clipping plane uh, which is which was set we can also animate its position as well so it's not cutting through the furniture like this so let's preview as you see the clipping plane is not making any problems with this animation so as you see we have animated uh, the camera and the target but it's not actually not a curve it's linear movement and we can see it and how we can adjust it so it's more natural and we like the way the camera moves we go to the motion tab here and click on the motion paths as we see this is the movement that the camera makes what we can do is to make it more curved to adjust his its position at a key and adjust this key so the movement will be uh, smoother and uh, we'll form this curve let's select the first key and now as you can see we can control this curve as we like we can make this S type of movement which the camera will be doing if we like Or we can delete this key and make it only curved just the curve and add a bit of twist to the animation but as we see we have to adjust the clipping plane so 
that it doesn't like cause problems here with the curtain so we start here Cold here. It's a bit tricky, but not so hard just you have to mind the movement of the camera as you see it's ready so this is the second method by using the motion pads you can control uh, the shape of the movement of the camera and also of the target as well the same way we can change the position of the first the second or make some kind of uh, curved uh, movement of the target okay and now let's show you the last option how you can control the movement of your camera it is by uh, shapes so let's first start by creating a shape uh, there will be a shape that will control the movement of the camera let's say something like this this will be uh, the path that uh, the camera will be moving along and it will go to here something like this now let's check the z position and place the line on the same position like the camera so then we don't change uh, the eye level of the camera and then let's make another one for the target I will make something uh, free-handed for now but then I will uh, adjust it later on we can always adjust it while working so what we do is we select the camera go to animation constraints and path constraint and we choose our path and here it is, it's uh, connected to the path. Then we go and choose the target and we once more select the other path. So now uh, along the whole time timeline, the camera will be moving uh, with uh, along this path and making this animation so as we see this part is too long uh, movement of uh, six seconds let's make it uh, end a bit uh, earlier as an entrance to the 
bedroom and I like this shape its movement to make it more to the center of the room like this and the first frame it's okay so now what else we can do is we can select our camera and uh, animate the focal length because uh, here wh while we are in the bathroom we don't have uh, much to see but when we go uh, inside the room it will be nicer to see more of the space so let's change the focal length to a lower number like 30 And even we can go lower. Let's remove this 13. So we can go from 40 to 22. Now we can adjust the, the ending frame a bit to be more to the middle of the room. Also, maybe this curve here could be adjusted also so that the wall is not so close to us. Now let's preview what we have made so far. So these were three ways uh, to animate your cameras that can help you in all the scenarios that you want to achieve in your animations. If you did enjoy anything in this video then drop a like and a big thank you to everyone who does. If you haven't subscribed yet, click below and join us. We have some great videos coming up next that you don't wanna miss. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.